Yeah, I feel guilty we're not working. I, the rain's supposed to have been here two hours ago. That's him in the tree, isn't he? Yeah. See that limb that's hanging out real high? That's a wedge part. Come on. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. There's a pair of wedge tails and a pair of seagulls in every valley. He used to climb up there. And this is one of the few valleys that will still like it. So, this is in Aboriginal story, this is where the beginning of time started. And in up till 2000, the water here was 99 point some percent pure. Like you, it looks brown, but you get a cup and you lift off the surface and it's just crystal clear. Yeah, just after rain, it'll be a bit discoloured as well. Uh, not really. It just it's the brown off the bottom. It is. It has got more colour. It's definitely polluted now compared to like the 90s and 2000. He's really active, that eagle. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, look at that. Just behind the tail. So, you yeah, never know. And you get trigger points wherever you can run over grass and back in the water. Now rip it or get it, get that frog hopping, yeah. See how, clear, see how clear the water is when you drop your lure in? Yeah, just drop it in front of you though. So you can see it. It looks dirty water, but it's not, it's clear. It's the same colour as the lure as well, the water. Yeah. Oh, from what you can tell. Yeah, from yeah, the bottom. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to put this on my head and have some fun. They might not be on the surface, but... Uh... Oh, let's hook up. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Put this way, if this doesn't catch a fish, it'll stir them up to any subsurface. Oh. If we haven't got a frog bite by now and if the fish are here it means spinnerbait oh that looks so good though this floats too oh I, that's it now I've got a mission to catch a bass on this actual lure I don't care how long it takes I still haven't landed one on a bait yet I'm already ready to switch to a spinnerbait. I'm sure if you're going to go down, I'm going to go down. Yeah, I just thought, give it a go. Doesn't take long. What did you get them on last time? Spinnerbaits. I got two on the surface, and the rest were on spinners. But they act different every day, you know, like here, so. I sort of thought they were just going to go nuts, so now... And the other thing is, they mightn't be here, they might be around the corner, like they, they, they're a gang. Oh, whack! Oh, just got smacked, mate. Righto, what do you got on? Diver. Go over there, mate. All yours, let's see if it works. Don't be too shy with the retrieve here. You can't swim quick enough. They rape, they rape lures here. He smacked it. Where did you go? Straight along that edge. See how that grass, the furthest point there? 
just chuck an angle across that. There's a little bit of timber down there. Like you shouldn't hit it, just sort of, that's it. Just ripping back when you get it, like just before that point there, sort of slow it down a bit and then rip it again. Oh, there is, sorry about that. I knew there was a bit of timber there. That's what they're coming off, obviously. If it goes that steep though, I wouldn't think it would. See, I'm missing it. It's just... And that's what they must be coming off. <laughs> I've got one cast this way now, while you're doing... Uh, I'd probably, if you want to keep that lower, I'd probably walk around the swamp and into it from the other side. He did crack this lure though. Away fly. There's a D line's heading over there right now. Oh! Oh! Big silver bass just boof right at my feet here. That's the one you should have probably tried your hard body on, Roger. <laughs> I'm fishing too quick. I've got to slow it down. That's a real bass. Oh yeah. Uh, he's not as big as I thought. I thought he was going to be a stonker. I was just thinking, you know, that because there's so much water here, this is actually lower than the other day. And then I just realized there's a tidal push. So when this starts to lift this afternoon, they'll probably go nuts. Hey buddy, what are you doing in the grass there? Hey, look at this for a release. Don't flick, don't move. All right. What are you gonna do, mate? Start to get a bit of a blue tinge on him, so. I thought he was a lot bigger than he was. Come on. Yeah, slippery little thing. Yeah. Yep, whack. Yeah, I found a school. Yep. That's a better one, maybe. Oh, I love these fish. The same evil little bass that we machete tracks into creeks to catch, sitting out here in 20 foot of water. So all I gotta do is hook up that monster bass today. Well, give me a look at ya. Oh, he's a nice one. Same size, really. Yeah, I found a little school here, Roger. I reckon you could catch a few, leave them, come back. He's a little bit bigger. That one's getting close to 30, but the way that they're hitting, you think that they were a lot bigger. <laughs> Stay there for a sec, buddy. Let's see what I can do. No, no, go that way, go the other way. Wait, wait. Come on, I wanna get another one of you. Oh, that, oh, he's gone. Oh, another one. Oh. That's five casts. If I land this, it'll be three fish and two hookups. what you call schooling bass all cookie cutters he's even a little bit smaller <laughs> hey I still got the other one here look at this I thought you swam away <laughs> hold on I'm not going crawl 
they're in water, they're fine. Is it re Oops. This guy's just resurfaced. He's been swimming around the grass. Wait, hey, come on. No, ah, going the wrong way. He's over there. They're all fine. I'm gonna let them all go in a minute. I'll see if we can get one more. Hey, Roger, come look at my fish. I got, I'm in an aquarium. Come on, I'll let you go. Two, two more casts and then I'll let you go. No, oh, I just dropped another one. Oh, and again. <laughs> Walk around the dry and come in. Come come around there and, and in. That way we don't, we just leave them set there. Come on. Oh, I'll leave them for Roger now. I'll play with my fish. Where'd the other one, little one go? Here you go. You up there. Well, it's deeper here. I'll put my aquarium over here. <laughs> you stay there for a minute. You too. Stay up right. Let's see, let's wait past them. See where that little stick is out? Same line as you got, but about that stick's where they're. Whack. No, no. Unbelievable. Yeah, you, know, you know why I, I didn't, I'm cast and I must be landed just short of this snag, which is hooking fish up. I've, that's two, twice in a row I've drawn a fish. Said the Roger Fro over there, catch one, and I've got him snagged. I'm not going to tell you where to cast again today, mate. I'm sorry about that. I must be just landing just short of the snag and drawing those bass. They'll probably shut down now he's up on the snag, but we'll come back later. They'll be there again. Oh, there was one. They're following me right in. You know what would be fun here is a fly rod. Oh, yeah. There's another one. <laughs> fly rod gives me anxiety. I know, but here it's just, this would, what a beautiful place to learn it. It's in my aquarium. Only because you're constantly feeding line to the ground? Yep. Yeah, but yeah, this is all short cast. Look at that, I've got three in there now. See that right, you gotta have your head in the water, mate. They're fine, they'll, they'll spend hours sitting there. <laughs> Imagine if they were all 40s. We'll find a school of 40s up here if we take a, a run in a boat or something. What color spinnerbait you got? Yeah, that should work. I'm a bad fan of the gold blades. Settle down, guys. It's humid, eh? Isn't it? Well, that's four and three strikes. So it's basically, you can say there's about seven fish that were on that snag. Eight. <laughs> yep. It's also that real it's the only time you'll ever see me slow slow roll you know like you'll you see me always really erratically retrieve yeah. uh this sort of tech actual spinnerbait bite you'll find that i i truly slow roll which is boring but when you get this oh he's a good one isn't he oh yeah i'll take that one for my quick oh yeah now we're talking <sighs> that's getting more like what we want 
That's a stonker. Look at that. And I get you. Oh, he's a big fish. Hopefully my camera's rolling. One. Yep. You just hold that and do a little. Oh, wait till you retrieve. That is a big bass. Come on, guys. Don't be. <laughs> I'm going to change lures in a minute, so I'll give you this spinner bait because we know it's working. Just wait there, buddy. Let's get my little aquarium going. So this is the fish that we've come to target, this and bigger. And that's that's the fifth fish off that snag um, that we, we've hooked. So I'll just put my rod away and I'll... Yeah, so that's the fifth fish. Let these go now. Come around here so we get a shot. I might use these as a cover shot, so if you stand over there. Let me get all four in there. Look at that. Okay. And I, and I think it's time. We teased them up on the way to go. One of them I actually swam into the grass and turned around and come home. Oh yeah, I should have put the camera in the water. They both swam off together. Yeah. Well, that's, that's sort of... I was, they were all that size. And then that last fish, well, he was a cracker. Hey, do, you want, do you want to use that lure? Because I'm going to do a switch. Oh, it's... You know it's working. Two more casts and you have to change lures. Mine looks exactly the same. I know, but watch this. I just picked the rod up and cast this side. Wait for it. And see, I'm just real slow roll. What that? That's a, that's a, ah! That's the one I come for. That was a masterclass bass fishing video fail. Now that was a serious, that was. Almost they got Lego went that way. No, nah, but that bass there, yeah, that probably the skills. That bass there was twice the size of that big one that I caught a minute ago. Oh no! Anyway, you get the gist of it. Just that slow roll. It's just like constant, just a constant speed. And change of direction is really important. I lost my spin. It's not spinning. Damn, that was the one that counted. We haven't gone far. There's a magic to some lures. I was saying the Roger, you know, I come down here once like 20 spinnerbaits. And my mate caught that many bass on one spinnerbait and I couldn't get any. I said, you got another one? He went, yeah, threw me a spinnerbait, same as he's. Never stopped catching them. You gotta find those magic lures. Now this is a magic lure, it's probably gonna get snagged. It really should be in a boat. And I think I've worked these snags out now. Out here, I should be right. See that? Roger doesn't know either. You know what? I'm pretty tempted to tie that on and use it. <laughs> you know what? I got his lure back. I felt guilty about that before. And he didn't lose the spinner, so we we're good. I got a little double beetle spin. I'm gonna give that a go. I haven't seen me yet. That one's Sammy. Hey Skip. What is it? <laughs> oh, human there. That's awesome. They had no idea I was there, so I got to watch them bouncing through the swamp. It's only little, but it's on, I think my third or fourth cast with a little spinner, so spinners are the go. Alright. Nice. Whoa. I'm gonna find that, those big ones again though. 
can't be a master class on spinner baits if um go on well, I can't land a trophy I've got 50% so I'll keep that one and this one will be right I'm going to have one cast at your spot and then I'm going I know and another good thing to do, not just the slow roll of the spinnerbait, is hit the grass, burn it off the grass for about a metre, and then drop it. Let it hit the bottom. And then when it hits the bottom, then slow roll it all the way back. And that's that. you'll find that's another trigger. And I'm going to leave you alone. I'll walk up here and find another spot. Oh, I love walking these swamps. There's a slight art to it. There's nothing underneath me but grass and water. Really where I want to be. Fishing the kitty, I hope it was worth it. I can hit that back bank here. Bank the bank for about 50 yards or up to that fence. So we're going to trigger a school. I haven't had a hit on this on the way up, but. I'll work it here. I'll turn you off when I get a result, if I get a result. Finally got a jackal bite. Feels not a bad fish. I got pretty weak hooks on this too, so. It's a nice fish. It's not as big as the one I dropped, but it's a consolation prize. Come up, come up, come up. When they're dogging deep like, you know, they're half decent fish. Come on, mate. Come on, you're the one I want. You're the one I want. Just even show me first. Now you gotta remember that one I dropped earlier was screaming this same drag off. Jeez, he's fighting, huh? Oh yeah, you're a slag. Yeah, awesome. Now I walked up here specifically to try and catch a big bass and I just, Basically just kept peppering this. That was probably about my 20th cast. Like the camera's got him. What are you? Beautiful, mate. You're a chunk. Oh. Yep. That is a big girl. This is my rod. I'll just put that camera off. Look at that. That is a chunk. Absolute chunk. Oh. I don't have my camera on me. I'm not going to take a picture anyway. Oh, I said that. He's, uh, he's big. Hey, settle down, buddy. I'll just get that off out of his mouth. That's what we come for. You know, the bigger ones, like they just dog like that. Okay, we got the lure out. It's just a. I'll get him out of the grass. A little red jackal and here's this beautiful slab and I mean slab <sighs> how am I gonna get a picture of this look at that I took my backdrop it might show better Look at this, watch this. And the thing is, he's just not the only one in here. He's a school, a beautiful bass. You watch him get ready to explode. Or you're just gonna just gently swim away. Look at how I can pat him. He's, look at that, he's loving it. He can't move. I got him on that comfort lift. Like that lateral line, see that? Okay. See ya. Motion has even brought an eel up to play. Look. You want it? Yep. Oh! He is a big eel. I think I'm glad that uh, I didn't hook him. But that's the sonic vibrations of this particular lure. It's worked over and over and over. And it's actually 
brought things to life. Like that eel there has come up, come up in anticipation of a feed. I was lucky I pulled away actually, because he was going for it. It's been a slimy old fight. Good one? I'm gonna go and have a look anyway. It's always good watching your mate catch a fish as well as yourself. It's taking you a while to actually land one. How many strikes do you reckon you've had so far? 30. Yeah. So can you see that there is an actual skill in those spinner baits? Well, what I ended up doing was once he struck it, I just left it. Yeah. And then he sort of swallowed it and then I got him. Yeah, it's 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 when they're... I just they're, kept rolling before. Yeah, well, you, you got to mix it up. But it's when they're... It's when they're, like, not in the mood. The flash just drives them crazy. That's a nice bass, though. So... Well, it's good to get the monkey off the back, that's for sure. Yeah, showing, well, I got mine big one up there, so it shows they're right through here. But well, that's good, that should get you rolling. Been down there casting like a demon. Remember that... Uh, Pop, bang, bang, bang. Remember that jackal bite at Penrith Lakes? Yeah. And it's like, once you worked that out, away you went. So now you should start, all those bumps should start turning the hookups. I hope so. It's still and, the same. I find I've got to hit the bank, yeah. splash it in right on the edge and then... Well, what I like to do is rip it off the bank and then let it drop about a metre, if not to the bottom, and then I crank it into gear again. And I actually do a seesaw, like a hop, a lot of as them well. were hitting as soon as they got the water. Which yeah. Which making me want to put a surface, surface. on. But yeah, well, I would... Because I hadn't got a fish, I wasn't going to do it. Well, if you can get a frog over there, it's going to be more fun to watch. But, but I mean, keep working it. Because I'm using other lures that aren't getting reactions that the spinners are getting. Like, I really had to work for that big girl on the jackal. So. Now, I'll probably title this video almost a master angler spinnerbait session because I drew small fish, created the bite, turned, as you will see in the video, turned into a kraken bite. Roger was struggling. He's just getting that feel now and all of a sudden he's getting these results. Now I'll walk up and have a look at it. Went hard. The 38 to the forks fight the hardest, and then they, then they, the big ones just dog. Oh, you'd be lucky if that was 30 to the yeah, he's not that big. Yeah, still nice. Mm. But the thing is, you've worked the bite out now, eh? Yeah, I just pinned them just off that point yep. there. And now you sort of can go to work with that, and it's like it's, it's all about mojo, isn't it? Once you get that feel, mm. like I bet you sort of feel like you're gonna just I'm catch them. Trying to shake the rust off, I guess. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I went for a bass fish, to be honest. Yeah, I know. That's what you're always rusty. Same with brim. But that spinner bait bite, it's really good. See that? Your he's bent you out of whack. You got to try and read. Just hold the camera. Look at a coat hanger. That's better. You want him sitting up like that? Well, that little bloke. Hold on, this is something wrong with you. Hit like a steam trainer, then try to try to run away. What's just happened here? Now I've got to get him back in. When I, I'm pretty hardcore when I spin a boat, so I usually go home and I, I solder that oh, yeah. because that's where you lose them. And the other thing, you'll see spin a boat, this is a trick that John Buffoon taught me. See how that ends inside of the hook? Mm -hmm. If you give a spin a boat that's longer than the hook, cut it off and bend it back just inside of the hook. You want the blade and the hook like that. And that's just the magic to the, there's a secret I got taught off Johnny Buffoon and it works. And cheap spinner baits, don't go spend 25, 30 bucks on one. They're only a piece of wire. All right, I'm gonna go down here and I've got a couple more in there. I'm gonna go and put one on and have one last crack. Oh, sucking air. You got some of these little cuts here. Sorry, four foot deep sometimes. Like this one. Ooh. It's 
school was. We started, Roger couldn't catch a fish when you watch all the start of this video and now he's just rolling them in. He reckons he sprayed himself with WD-40 just a minute ago and it's made him all loose as a goose. Now he's, are you building your own little fish tank now, are you, Roger? <laughs> I'm going to come down and watch. Well, leave him there and get another one. Let's see how many you can get in there. I had four. I should have had five in that little puddle there at one stage. Oh, no. What? <laughs> there goes your mojo. Funny what this doing. Hey? Looking pretty old. I think the day's over anyway, rain wise, for me filming, but. Um, oh, yeah. That's what I was saying. Remember, I'd said earlier about so, like I solder them when I get serious with spinner baits. But you, there's more blades over there, like beetle spin blades and stuff. Oh, he's a nice fish. Uh, this is going to be the end of the video, so just let me get some really cool footage.